that dragon right there. Can't quite kill him, but I can walk past him. Hi, dragon. Your name's Falak. Well, good Falak. Because I am leaving, and we're going to the final battle. Watch, I won't be able to do it. I'll spend like two and a half hours failing at this, and it'll be awful. But yep, it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. I actually skipped all the storyline stuff, so I have no idea what the storyline's going to be. But I can do the fight. I did it at least once. So we'll see if we can do it again. We will see. Okay. As the world moves, we shall see the end of the last remnant. And something that's been on my to-do list for like almost 10 years is finally going to be done. Now, I, I'd say that somewhere around 15 to 20% of the game, maybe a little bit less. I don't think it's any more than that. I think it's probably less. But we'll say conservatively, 15 to 20% of the game... I did not do or finish. So there are a lot of side quests and other things that you could do. I feel like I did okay. But I could have done better. I didn't do a lot of the more difficult or challenging fights early on. As far as like multiple guys and everything else. To do battles, to raise my stats and everything else. There's a lot of stuff I learned as we went. So I'm hoping that, that Young shows up. Because he's been one of the more invested in this uh, series. So I was hoping he'd actually make it to the stream on time today. And actually get to see. And happy Easter to all of you. Even if it's probably a little late for some. Or just missed by others. But yep, after this, I will start up the next title. Dragon's Dogma. And whoever's here gets to help me choose uh, what kind of character I'm going to play. In the last... In the last attempt... Let's see here. I'll go down here with it. In my last attempt at playing that, I was playing, I believe it was a dual wielding, like knives type roguelike guy, and he was also an archer of some sort. Which I'm fine with playing again, but you know, I have the affinity for giant two handed weapons, so maybe that's going to be a better route. I mean, for me, it would definitely be a better route, but again, I'm up to whatever. We'll see what you guys come up with. All right, and I believe this is where the final battle... Yeah, this is where the final battle begins. An archery for certain reasons. The slow walk, guys and gals. The slow walk. Oh, I want to see Pagasus' feet. That would have been the that would have been the one you want to see. We are finally here and ready to face you, Conqueror. You've arrived. I have, or we have. What's your game, Conqueror? I desire to Meh. release remnants from the hands of men. Release. The beings of this planet have become far too accustomed. To using remnants as their tools. It's fair. At this rate, they will push the remnants' power beyond their limits. They will destroy all existence. I don't think so. Ridiculous. Do you really think so little of us? Do you really think your trust in mankind is founded? <sighs> My duty is to prevent that eventuality. Oh, yeah? Who? What really are you? Merely one warden of the remnants. Okay. What does that mean? Warden? So, there's something here in Illusion you need to release the remnants. Is that it? You should know. This was not originally my task to complete. Oh. So he... With the activation hmm. of this machine, all of the world's remnants will be freed. While you're answering questions, maybe you can answer me this. Why did you do that to Amayan? Yeah. 
I desire to learn to what extent releasing the remnants would affect this world. Thankfully, I found that remnants merely consume lesser life forms, like men. What do you mean? Technically, you consumed him, not the remnants. Then, if all the remnants were released. Well. Do you finally understand? Nope. Not exactly. I mean, like, I, I get what you're saying, but... Eh. I understand that you don't really give a damn about people's lives. But me? My friends and family are something I wouldn't trade for the world. I'll protect them. No matter what. Let's do this. As you wish. I won't hold back. Oh, it's a shaking. There you go. Okay. Well, that's an interesting backdrop for the final battle. Oh, it's getting dark. Still interesting. I know. I know. I hope I didn't, like... It like it was still vibrating, but it wasn't rattling anymore near the end. I'm hoping I didn't screw up the uh, vibration inside, like the left side of the controller or something. Okay, so we have Royas and Castanea, Castania. I don't know. Um, I feel like I almost just want to kill the big guy first, and then deal with the smaller gal. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but. I, I think that's what I'd like to do. Um, I'm going to keep her on healing duty. I have one rumble. Motor dead sucks. I hope uh, I hope I didn't screw it up. But I mean, I, I wouldn't think that would screw it up, but you never know. Alright. Doing a little bit of work here. I have no idea how much HP they have. This was a tough fight, actually. But it doesn't mean it's going to be like the end of the universe tough. Especially if he's just starting with basic attacks. That's actually pretty good. Get him with Addle 2. You know, we're confronting the final boss. Why is it that we start with such low morale? That makes no sense. What's this? Mighty cross break. And well, at least we're gonna get through most of the morale negativity here. Oh, now she's gonna come through and say hello to us. Eh, it hurt a little bit. But don't worry. Hang in there, okay? We can heal people. And we'll put the Orphic Ward up, and I imagine the gal's gonna come and do something bad to us. Hopefully nothing too bad. Oh, just a basic attack. I'm fine with the uh oh. What the heck is that? Oh, well that didn't feel good. Lord David seemed to have ignored it all together though. Talisman's gift, um sure. Hang in there. This one looks loaded. And she did get hurt. Cover your health. We'll see how this plays. Oh good, we start with Talisman's Gift. Maybe we actually avoid... Yeah, we're, we're fine. He can't hurt us that way. Restore 5. And Restorative Herb 2. So the toughest electro motors for that size glass. Well, there's a place there's no... Yep, no, it's, it's the PS3. Uh brand one. I was I was talking with Splooch the other day and he was uh we were trying to we started running into issues playing Rocket League. My nephew and him were playing and, and I was joining them. And it started like to freak out, kinda like my la uh oh. Kinda my kinda like my last one did. So I actually bought a new controller because it was having issues. Actually is that why? That's one of the reasons why. The other reason was 
Oh, look how dodgy you are. Good job. The other reason was my uh, analog stick started to just spin instead of being stuck in place. And that really made for difficulties. Anyhow. Oh, really? I can actually Omni Strike her? You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'll keep everybody else on him and I will Omni Strike her. And I'll start wearing her down as well. I think I will do area of area of effect attacks from afar. Prepare yeah. Yourself. Anyhow, I was talking with Splooch, and I was like, maybe it's the USB cable. You know, just try plugging another one in, and that, that should probably fix it or help it or what have you. Holy jeez, that wasn't supposed to happen. And he's like, oh, I can't unplug it. He has a Xbox 360 controller. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? He's like, it doesn't, it, there's no way to unplug it. I'm like, do you actually have an Xbox 360 controller? Or did you get like a third party? He's like, no, it's Xbox 360. Well, it turns out it's like an A5 or something. I don't know what it was called. But essentially, it's not an actual Xbox 360 controller. But I'm like arguing with him. And he's like, I'm telling you, it doesn't unplug. And I'm like, that's bull. Since, like, the days of the PlayStation, uh, I guess just three, maybe it was two, I can't remember. I think two was still plugged in, but maybe not. No, I think since PS3 and Xbox 360, every controller was USB and Bluetooth. So, what's going down? <laughs> and turns out, like I said, he didn't actually have what he thought he had. And there and lies the problem. We're going to bring him back with hopefully Kiss of Life here. Do they? Because I, I actually looked and they don't exist anymore. Unless you go with an off-brand type thing for the Xbox. It's like, I searched repeatedly, looked at pictures, and it was only that one brand that I saw that actually has ported that aren't uh, wireless. I guess you'll say wireless instead of Bluetooth. All right, we'll bring you back. I will say that this time around, they are using the launch her into me attack way more often. They didn't do that when I last played. So that's slightly frustrating, I guess, but eh, it's not too, too bad. All right, turn it around, lower their morale, play it by ear. Recover. Yeah, I was I was thinking about for the the one. And all the ones I saw for the 360. Wow, we've actually almost killed her completely. Man, that that uh, talisman's gift did a lot of work. Here we go again. Like, she did this one time, the last time I did this. this is your She's, they've done it literally every single fight this time. It's its a little crazy. But again, we're, we're looking okay. All right, back in action. I'm probably going to ignore her and just go back onto the main guy now. Because I need to, I want to drop him. Because there's a nasty surprise near the end of this fight. Ooh, Swift Akala's Wrath 3. He's not even close to being down. This is the attack he did most of the time. This is hammer spin. Still hurts like crazy. And it still hits multiple people. But, that was his main attack. Alright, I'm going to lower the morale. Hang in there. Keep your HP up and heal the others. All right. Theoretically, we'll survive this. Here we go with the catapult again. Uh, it's fine. It definitely does not feel good. That does, though. That felt pretty good. All right. Oh good, he's he's down on like kind of his last limb. 
So to speak. Nibble Devils do two. Or sorry, four, not two. Alright, hammer spin. This is gonna hurt again. Hopefully it doesn't hit Arena or any of her crew. Doesn't look like it did. Good. Arena, get ready to step in. Alright, this is looking okay. And we should be able to kill him with this. Maybe it'll be close. Not quite. All right, Arena, throw a heal on them. Are you okay? And then heal yourselves up, which will be fine. Pagus has this. Ah, sweet, sweet healation. Oh, that's that's less good, but eh, it's fine. All right, I'm finishing this with Omni Strike. Yep, I'm going to break this off and I am going to attack her. And. Uh, sure. There we go. Silencer. If I land this, I'll, I'll finish him if I land my next attack. And he's done. Bye, Castanani. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually a little concerned right now. How healthy is everyone? It, it should be fine. Anyhow, immediately following this battle, which we're probably going to end this turn, uh, after we kill her, Here it comes. the uh, Conqueror decides to reinforce and join the battle. Don't underestimate them! So hopefully this is enough to finish her. Not that. It is. All right. And the final battle truly begins. Are you ready? It it's a little glitchy looking, but it's it's fine. Got to suck it up and stop these guys. We got to suck it up and stop these guys. Okay. Looks like Rush's group's going to die, but we'll bring them right back. Ooh, that hurt more than just him. Hmm. Alright, you... Uh, bring him back. Lower their morale and save them no matter what. It did look like they just gave up. They're like, eh. Oh, hello. It's been a while since we've seen you. Oh, okay. Oh, he doesn't have his wings anymore. That's the Lob Omen. That's the same thing that we battled uh, against Jaeger. He had one. that. Well, I am pretty happy to see that we actually healed up before things went crazy. And we're buffing up like crazy. I think we'll take down the Lob Omen first. Probably. Ouch. For all that healing, then you... Mm. Ow. Interesting. So Takala's Wrath 3, go! This is going to be a long fight, but we theoretically will get through it. Welcome back to full health and full strength. Alright. He does look a little derpy. Please don't kill... Oh, they're dead. Oh, never mind. Got resisted. They're fine. Surprise! Totally knew that. Hmm. Now... Alright, I'm gonna kill this thing first. This could make the fight more difficult. I don't know for sure. But we'll, we'll see. I'm actually gonna stay on you. Turn it around. Yeah. And heal the others. Make sure you stay out of deadlock. Alright. Pretty basic attack. Oops. Not too, too bad. Is this going to hit? He gets really dodgy near the end. 
Basically, I got him down to about half HP, I'm assuming it was around there, or maybe it was within a quarter HP. He was critical at the point. And I killed the Lob Omen thing, and when I did it, I think it was just after, maybe a little bit after that. It might be at a specific health threshold, I don't know. But he became really, really hard to hit. He became super dodgy, so... It looks like uh, Colonel RPG is auto-hosting me for up to eight viewers now. Hello, Colonel RPG's channel viewer peoples. We shall stop them here. We shall stop them here. The final battle will be won. Hopefully by us. Right trigger. Trying to claw our morale back up. Oh, we blocked. It's not going to do anything, but we blocked. It's great. Okay. Combative arts. Uh, bat of arts. Nope, let's we'll stay on there. Lower morale and stay on the healing. I feel bad. Young's gonna miss this. Come on. Ouch. Split his knee. Gonna Hulk smash him. Gonna hit him with a regular basic attack and a switchback. Oh! Dodge counter! That's actually really good. I know he's not looking all that impressive yet, but trust me, it gets worse. Right now I'm doing a fairly decent job of keeping people okay with their HP. Store five, and then that should put them at full and double time. Sweet. This is gonna leave a mark. Oh, ouch. Not that bad of a mark, though. Okay. We'll play it by ear with you. I'm going to have you lower the morale some more. We're gonna try to keep. We're trying to win the morale battle here. And hurry and heal them. She actually got completely missed, Arena's group. Hang in there, all right. All right. Oh no, he dodged. Oh, that's not necessarily very good. Pretty sure we die here. Nope. I did not die. That's good. I think the next turn I'm going to switch all but one group over. Probably everybody but Lord David's group over to the Lob Omen just to finish it off. Well, that looked painful and unsatisfying. Can we do it again? Lord David's looking good. Emmy's looking good. And I guess that means that she's going to heal Rush's group. Maybe restore him completely. And refresh four, and that should get rid of all the negative effects. And Orphic Ward, so we're now immune to magic. It's working out really well having her just basically sitting back doing stuff. Ooh, we can finish it with Omni Strike? That's really good. Alright, Lord David, you stay on the Conqueror. We're gonna break this. Eh. You don't really have much that you do. Um. Play it by ear. Hey, you know what? Get them no matter what. That's what we're going for. And you stay on healing. The attack. Oh, the attack. I think we're immune to his uh, his blaster as well because we have the Orphic Ward. But this will probably just kill him. Yes, did 60,000 damage. He's done. What's this? Welcome to Master Blow. This looks awful doesn't hurt that bad but it looks really nasty fair enough all right a little restorative tincture for you refresh you of any negative effects on you I did I played with it not not any more than I did yesterday but yesterday I played around with it a little bit and there's like the concept is okay uh oh 
I don't know. What this I don't know what that did, but okay. The concept of the different formations and unlocking like stronger versions of the same for me. It's cool. This might actually kill us. Think you'll get away with that, do ya? Nope, it didn't. But boy, did that come close. Bring them back. Bring them back. I don't think this is the right play, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, the problem is, two, first off, there's there's nothing that indicates how to do it. As I've said in this entire series, they don't give you enough information to play the game correctly. You have to look stuff up. Alright, hold on. Oh! Oh, we dodged! Alright. Get some good damage on him. That was actually pretty good, 34,000. Not too shabby. And Pagus, oh, he's even throwing a revitalize. That's literally the perfect storm. Oh, I love it. Anyhow, so, again, without the information, you would never figure out the things unless you really spent a lot of time playing around. Secondly, the groups that you would have to use, you could use, but you wouldn't be able to use a lot of the main characters. And me, personally, I generally like using main characters. Um, and they're just really convoluted and just strange. I don't really know how else to say it. So yeah, I'm not a I'm not a massive fan of that. So essentially, I would have to like completely change my group up, and some of the formations that you can unlock are only let's see how to, how to explain it. They're only like you have to have five people in the group, which would throw off my five five four combo. I'd have to have a different five five four combo. Uh, and on top of that, once you unlock, say, from Goblet to Chalice, that's one of the ones we did yesterday, the Chalice formation doesn't just become unlocked and then you're able to use it with any grouping of people. You literally still have to use the Goblet formation with the correct people to be in the Chalice formation. Which, that doesn't even tell you what benefits or what extra things or how good it is, what the different stats are, of that new formation that you're in. It just says it's a different name. Like I said... They did not do a very good job with the information in this game. And I honestly think if they made a sequel, that would have been one of the things that they probably would have focused on. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I, I want a break from him, and I can't. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually don't want to be fighting him with Arena's group. It just sort of happened that I had to do that. Hopefully we're okay. Orphic War didn't resist that at all. It's strange. Okay. Should be getting him low relatively soon. I meant to do that. I'll show you what I can do. Maybe. All right. Well, the good news is. We can now do stuff with uh, Rush's group. He's no longer muted, silenced, paralyzed, or whatever that was causing him issues. So that is... Oops, that is a pretty big help. Aw, oh, we just got overkilled. Dang it. Alright, hurry and heal them. Who am I hurrying and healing? I don't, I don't know. We'll lower the morale again. Hurry and heal. Over the morale. And. Oh, will you please break away from them? Ugh. Alright, well, it looks like we get to at least go first here. Ooh, maybe scattered petals will actually land. I don't know if I've seen this land yet. Pretty impressive. Yeah. It's, like I said, it's one of the big flaws in this game. Like, there's so much that they did, and there's, you know, it's a complicated game. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's actually quite complicated, and I do still feel like the game's really good. It's just, they could have done more. And if they made the sequel, I think they could have had, like, one of the best games of the genre ever made. Now, this is kind of like a, an offshoot, weird stepsister of the genre anyway, right? It's not exactly... Part of the norm, we'll say. 
Oh, well, we're attacking. I do like the fact that we just actually healed two different groups. That was pretty cool. Maybe even three there. I'm not sure. All right. Clear status ailments. Yes, because that will resurrect our people. Give it all you've got. Give it all you've got. Um, lower the morale a bit more. And for the love of Jiminy Cricket, please, please stop being in combat. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this is where he goes and he dodges like every single attack for the rest of the fight. This is not going to be a fun battle now. Not that it was super fun before, this has been kind of eh. I, I can't believe I can't break deadlock. It's, it's irritating me that I can't break deadlock with Arena's group. And I feel like it might cost me this battle. Well, remember how I said he's going to dodge every attack? Apparently I'm not correct in that. Because I'm just landing everything. Because that's what I do. It was after he did that that he started dodging every attack. Now he might have one more power up that he does. But he dropped his sword and he's just punching us now, so... Alright, all of our people seem to be back to life at this point. Which is good. Pagus, can you please heal? Well, I was hoping you'd heal Arena. But fine. Ooh, Nimble Cross Slice too. Ah, there's a dodge. That was only one, though. Like, he literally dodged like 12 Die. attacks in a row. This is not going to feel good. And yet, we were fine. No big deal. Just basically pulled the sun down and hit us with it. But, you know, no, we're fine. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Break from... No, why can't you do this thing? Oh, I hate you so much, Arena's group. All the others had the ability to break away. Except Arena. Hey, Triple J, what's going on? You're looking at the final fight of the last remnant. Oh, that was so frustrating. I'm like, oh, good, we can finally break away. Like, everybody's got that option. Go except the it. one group we want to have break out of the combat. I guess that's fine. That'll keep us alive. And that will help Arena stay alive, too. Eye cream to keep our boy up. We missed. Oh, we landed an attack. A big old four. Just saying. What? There we go. We got him down into critical levels. White out. This is going to hurt everyone. I think Lord David's group dies here. Yep. Okay, keep your HP up. Bring them back. Finally, I can get her out of combat. That four damage, it will guarantee us the win. I know. Don't mind it, keep going! Don't mind it, keep going! Good, I'm actually glad we threw a little bit of a heal on them. <laughs> oh, but they blocked, so it's fine. Ooh, we might get some really good damage off on them this time around. I meant to do that! I meant to do that! Maledict. Yeah. Underwhelming, to be sure. And this should hurt. Should be like 40,000? No, only 32. Alright, Arena is finally broken free, Kiss of Life, and she'll be able to buff them and heal herself. And theoretically, she will now be safe. Nope, oh, no buffs. Just the heals. Okay, we're gonna go Omni Strike up on them. We're going to give offensive support, lower the morale again, and clear status ailments, I guess. That is my throat stops working here. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Alright. 56,000 and he's just like, eh, whatevs. 64,000. That did almost nothing. And then we did less than... Uh-oh. Woo! Okay. It's fine. Double time! Revitalize! I think that she'll heal him. Like, I think Arena will actually heal the dead group. Nope! Oh no. How did she get stuck going back into combat? Oh boy. Oh, well, that's good. Good job, Nora. This is the one. This is what he does where he starts getting really dodgy. Alright. Yeah, that's right. He calls down the Valeria heart. Okay, now it's going to be difficult to hit him. Also, that really hurt. Like, a lot. Uh... Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Yeah, we're going to go with it. I don't know what that does. Maybe that's the thing that makes him dodge? I don't know. Oh, I've been watching your cover cover of Legend of Grimrock and it's so frustrating. That game, I don't know. The game was different and unique. I liked it to a degree, but the final boss just Thank you. ruined the game for me. Absolutely ruined the game for me. It's... Final boss is awful, just saying. It's like the worst design, laziest... It's just the dumbest boss I've ever seen in my entire existence. There you go. It'd be like if the Conqueror was really... I don't know, a banana. It'd be like on that level of terrible. In fact, I think I'd prefer the banana to what actually was. Oh. That's gonna leave a mark. Small mark. Alright. Turn it around. I'll probably survive, maybe. Hurry and heal them. Sure. Keep your HP up and... Break from combat and heal yourself. I know. Like, that's more compelling than the final boss of The Legend of Grimrock. Ugh. The game was frustrating on like, uh, like a whole- Ah, oh, That's how she keeps getting stuck in raid lock. Like, he's literally targeting her. And now you're seeing the dodge problem that I was talking about before. It's gonna be a bit of a, a rough thing to actually take this guy down. Well, I mean, you have to look at, like, every single wall, and there's so many things you can miss, and it's just, uh The game itself, it was worth playing through once, and it was a different experience. Like, I didn't hate the entire experience, but it's one of those things I would never, ever play again. Because I really did not enjoy much of my time playing it. I think we got lucky here, because if we ever get a critical trigger off, that means everyone but the last attack is guaranteed to hit, if we keep landing the critical triggers. Ah, we beat him. Well, that was kind of easier than I was expecting. Well, there you go. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Game over. All right, I haven't actually seen this. I have no idea what this is. So, I said I skipped most of the story stuff. So we get to experience this now for the first time. Let me guess. Things are going to collapse. Damn. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. 
huh? Why is it so quiet? Sorry, guys. That's not good. I thought we just killed him. It still works. The controller. Then this is what you choose. To be someone else's weapon. A tool. So long as you leave them unchecked, that's all you are, Marshall. You tell him, Marina. I like my inventory. Yeah. Well, that didn't work out very well. All right, Rush. Let's see what you got, buddy. I feel like we didn't win. This doesn't look like something happens to somebody who just defeated somebody else. Oh, he's going Super Saiyan. Seems that way. I know. It's suicide because you're a remnant, yeah. I'm a remnant too. Right. We figured this out a while ago. But how did everybody else know? Or alright, how did she know, I should say? But it's not like I could just let this happen. You've all done so much for me. I can't let you die. I don't know. Maybe. But, like, shouldn't her parents have, like, said something at some point? Oh, dang. Poof, indeed. There it is. There's the no. A little late. Well, hopefully there's a bit more explanation from the parents, at least. Oh. Oh, I bet people are going to be freaking out when all the remnants disappear. That brought them prosperity and safety and protection. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I suppose they also tidied up the story kind of nice. So, if it took off, they could have done something to bring, you know, a second one into 
play, but if not, this is a self-contained story, so at least they did well at that. Hopefully they do enough to give us full closure. What's up, God Emperor? Yeah, you done got wrecked, buddy. You sat out the wrong people. By Celepole leader. Don't look up, there's glass shards everywhere, man. That is a bad game plan. Oh, the flower cried. Oh, the Johannas. <laughs> Lust for war. No more gay bulg. Except for in Final Fantasy XV, if you guys remember, it was a javelin thing. Harpoon, spear, whatever it was. You have some splaining to do. Like, wouldn't you be furious with your parents? Like, I feel like you'd be furious with your parents. Like, really angry. They basically made a sentient remnant to be your family member. That's, that's pretty messed up. Not quite enough closure for me. They could have done better. Still, I guess it's enough, and we'll just have to deal with it. I've done it! My 10-ish year journey has been completed. It's like 7 or 8 year journey, but still. <sighs> so, what do you think, Tech Man? Was that enough, or was that slightly disappointing? Like, the story wasn't bad. A lot of people said, oh, the story is so basic, blah, 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 blah. It was fine. Uh, you know, definitely convoluted at times, but I mean, what, what RPG story isn't convoluted, right? Yeah, I know. Enough video games get, uh, like, anime releases, right? I think this actually could be a really, well, again, maybe even a movie. Turn the events of the game, maybe flush out a few things a bit more. And I think this could be a pretty interesting, like, Square Enix movie. I'd watch it. Well, we'll, we'll let the, the stuff play through. So, are you excited about Dragon's Dogma? Have you seen coverage of that before, Tech Man? Young's gonna be so upset. <laughs> Yeah, I'd watch it. Well, I'd watch the anime movie too. I said, I don't think the story is bad. Compared to a lot of games where the story is just a little too underwhelming. This is alright. There were some twists and turns, but... Also, again, there's probably somewhere between 15 and 20% or less of the game that I didn't cover. With some side missions and quests and stuff. And those would have uh, done something. Also, why did the Conqueror kill Emma? I feel like that was entirely unnecessary. Oh, Johnny Young Bosch. I didn't even realize that was it. You remember the... He's famous for much, much more at this point. But do you remember watching Power Rangers back in the day? When they replaced Zack as the Black Ranger? That was Johnny Young Bosch. He's also the voice of Ichigo from Bleach? And a ton of other voices. 
But yeah, I, I can totally see it now. He does really well. Like I didn't I didn't pick up that that was him. Other than trailers. Uh, next game is going to be Dragon's Dogma Dark Arise? Dark Arisen? Something along those lines. And that's going to be another epic, really, really long game. But it's one that... Capcom, for some reason, I don't know exactly why, because I'm sure it's not everybody. I don't know. Anyway, or some of their games or whatever. Maybe I have to get permission. For, I don't know. But again, certain large developers or publishers are hard to get a hold of sometimes. But they basically wouldn't let me monetize uh, my videos. So after I did like six or eight episodes in, um, they started to do the copyright thing, which doesn't hurt the channel, but essentially they would get all ad revenue for it, which is whatever. So I figured, yeah, I'll do it for a stream because then, you know, it's going to be here. It's going to be great. They're crediting, crediting the musicians. That's good. But, um, let's see. Uh, essentially, live streaming, it's something I always said, and I still mean it to a degree. But at least now I am getting a little something out of it. But essentially, live streaming's always been more for you guys and me just to hang out and just kind of spend time with the community playing a game, whatever, you guys get a little, little chat back and forth and whatnot. So it's never really been about, oh, I can make a ton of money doing this, or, you know, I, I'm going to go with high production value and 100% focus and do, you know, a full Let's Play, which I do on other things. When I put all the en energy, effort, and work into that, and then I can't, you know, I get nothing out of it, it's a little eh. So here, I'll still be able to do the live stream, I'll post it on YouTube, if it gets copyright, you know, marked, whatever, they can do that. I already still got what I wanted out of it. And if they don't copyright it, I'll get a little tiny bit of aberrant revenue. Maybe $5 over the probably 300 episode series by the time I get done. Because ad revenue is super high. It's really not. So yeah. There you go. There you have it. Charlotte Frackzech. Larry Sparks. What is it? It's the co COO. What? What is this? What is a co COO? That's and all the Square Enix staff. Speed Tree. Well, not bad. I mean, I, the game even looks good for a game that was released in two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Like not like fantastic, amazing, cutting edge, but I mean. It looks better than a lot of the games that released back then, and better than a lot of games that release right now, to be honest. Ad rev. N almost non-existent rev. What will you do now? Oh, there's more. What do you think? Wait. I'm going back. What? They're waiting for me. Oh, they left it open. Well, kudos to them. 